Lyoto is washing hands in the art room after working with oil paintings when Nagatoro arrives to tease him again. After she spilled juice on her hands, she mocks him for washing hands with her and then washes his hands for him. And Nayoto quickly runs away in embarrassment as a satisfied Nagatoro watches him flee. The next day Nayoto is having a peaceful day in the club room without Nagatoro to bother him, but her friends Maki and Yoshi arrive. Nayoto remembered how they teased him at lunch so he does not look forward to interacting with them. Although they are looking for Nagatoro they decide to stay and watch him eat. After making fun of his lack of experience with girls they relentlessly tease him, and before he can run, force him to grab bean cakes from Maki. But soon after Nagatoro arrives unamused, and her friends quickly run away. A disappointed Nagatoro acts coldly towards Nayoto who tries to defend himself and explain Maki's trick. Nagatoro quickly cheers up and challenges him to take a premium bean cake from her. However, he must guess correctly where she is hiding the buns. But when Nayoto makes a mistake that embarrasses Nagatoro, she quickly punishes him, and they awkwardly eat lunch together. Later, Nayoto returns to the art room to draw, and he remembers Nagatoro in the past demanding he draw her instead of useless fruit. Nagatoro later arrives dragging a sofa from another club room so that she doesn't have to hit in a chair. From the art club, Nayoto watches his other classmates, and he discusses his lack of popularity with Nagatoro. Nagatoro encourages him to praise others to become more popular at school, and she asks him to compliment her. At first Nayoto's compliments are weak, but when he gives her a heartfelt compliment she becomes embarrassed. Nagatoro quickly gets over it, and compliments the random and twitchy facial expressions he can make while he is getting teased. They later move on to drawing Nagatoro while she is posing, and Nayoto has to make her stop teasing him. Still, Nayoto has a tough time drawing Nagatoro, and it takes him several hours to accomplish nothing. Nagatoro makes fun of his lack of progress, but quickly falls asleep on the comfortable couch. And since she is asleep, Nayoto is given enough time to sketch her on his easel. Nagatoro wakes up and is impressed with his sketch, and then rewards him by making him kiss a small stuffed animal. One day Nagatoro arrives at the art club to tease Nayoto as usual, but somehow he ignores her teasing no matter how much she tries. A surprise Nagatoro sees Maki, and Yoshi arrive who ask if Nayoto prefers to hang out with them, to Nagatoro's shock. They leave the art club together and Nagatoro wakes up in the real world, shocking Nayoto. An embarrassed Nagatoro, spooked from her dream, tentatively tries to compliment Nayoto. Later Nayoto has a bad feeling, and Nagatoro gets up from the couch to tackle and tickle him. They sit on the couch together and Nagatoro tells him that she isn't ticklish, and challenges him to try to tickle her. An embarrassed Nayoto attempts to try but a nervous Nagatoro quickly declines. Nagatoro later finds a video of a sheep getting its wool sheared, and shows Nayoto. She notices his long hair looks like sheep's wool and proposes that he gets his hair cut. After playing with his hair, she offers to shear his hair with a pair of electric shavers. A frightened Nayoto insists that he is not a sheep and tries to run away, admitting a fear of shavers. So Nagatoro relents and decides to use a brush and pair of clippers. She insists that she will give him a small trim, but before they can start Nagatoro gets a call from her friends to go to their classroom. However, the call was just a trick by her friends to get her to leave the art club. Nayoto despairs when he sees Maki, and Yoshi arrive at the art club, and they soon find the electric shaver. Yoshi holds Nayoto hostage as Maki threatens to shave him with the shaver, so Nayoto defends himself by spinning. Meanwhile, Nagatoro hears them yelling and finds her friends attempting to shave Nayoto. Maki and Yoshi decide to make a quick retreat leaving Nagatoro frustrated. Later, Nagatoro trims Nayoto's hair to a more reasonable length. Then after he compliments her, she teases him out of embarrassment. Later Summer arrives with an unbearable heat on them. So while walking home, Nagatoro suggests they go buy some shaved ice to help them cool down. But when they arrive at the shop they find a huge crowd and a line to get the shaved ice. Nayoto suggests they go to a convenience store instead, but Nagatoro insists they line up for as long as it takes. While they are lining up, Nayoto stands between Nagatoro and some suspicious guys. But the heat soon takes a toll on Nagatoro, and she starts to hallucinate. Nayoto decides to force her to leave the line and they head to a park to let her hydrate. Although she feels better, Nagatoro is disappointed they couldn't get the shaved ice so she decides to go buy them ice cream. Later as they walk home, they talk about their summer break plans and Nayoto is a little sad he won't get to see Nagatoro very much over the summer. But Nagatoro asks for his number so they can text each other over the summer, and Nayoto hesitantly agrees. After showing him a line sticker, Nagatoro runs away and later starts to spam him with messages. One day Nayoto wakes up to see a hooded girl watching over him. A confused Nayoto finds himself in an otherworldly plane, where the hooded girl tells him that he has been chosen to become the savior of this world. She also tells him that because of his lack of experience with girls, he can become a powerful wizard. And after giving him a staff, she sends him on his way. Nayoto falls out of the sky to land in a fantasy world with dragons and monsters. Immediately, Nayoto is attacked by a large lizard, 
and he is forced to run away when it shrugs off his magical attacks, just when he is cornered. Nekotoro appears and saves him by punching the lizard into the water. Nekotoro is a boxing cat who looks suspiciously like Nagatoro, and insists that he follow her. The two fight monsters and travel together. When they arrive at the lair of a large dragon, Nekotoro attempts to fight the dragon with her combat skills, but is thrown off. And when the dragon tries to destroy her, Nayoto defends Nekotoro with his staff. Nayoto and Nekotoro then combine their magic to create copies to distract the dragon, and empower Nekotoro to deliver a powerful blow that defeats the dragon. Nayoto then watches as the dragon changes into Maki who greets Nekotoro happily. Meanwhile Yoshi hatches out of a Yoshi egg. The four travel together to the demon lord's castle to confront the final boss, but they find the throne room empty. Nekotoro reveals that in fact, she and her friends were all demon lords and that Nayoto has fallen into their trap. Nayoto attempts to retreat but the demon lords capture him and announce they will torture him forever. Nayoto then wakes up in the real world after napping at a restaurant, where Nagatoro and her friends arrive in the real world. Nagatoro finds his rough sketches of Nekotoro, and happily starts to tease him for giving her cat-like features. Later during the summer, Nayoto is watching television when Nagatoro calls to mock him for wasting his summer break. She insists they go visit the beach together, and Nayoto meets with her to see Nagatoro, and her friends. On the way to the beach they compare his demeanor to a loner sea lice, and Nayoto prepares for a stressful time. And after arriving on the beach, Nayoto refuses to swim with the rest of them to draw in the shade instead. In the water, the girls race against each other but Nagatoro easily wins because she is on the swim team. But she also notices Nayoto continuing to sit and draw while everyone else is having fun. Nagatoro then teases him and insists that he swim with the rest of them, and Nayoto becomes afraid of going into the water and potentially drowning. She later gives him sunscreen and pushes him into the water. Surprisingly, Nayoto has a good time at the beach and that night he thanks Nagatoro for inviting him. And the trip inspires him to draw her on the beach. And this is all for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.